Hi, I'm Chris from Inside the Recording Studio Podcast. And today I'd like to share a tip for your workflow when you're tracking vocals. What I would suggest that you do is make a sheet with the lyrics to the song along with columns of take numbers to the right of them. Let me show you what I mean. Here is a sheet that I made for a session I was recently a part of. And we have the lyrics to verse one here on the left and we get these columns of takes on top of here. What that's going to help me do is keep track of the session. I know which takes I like and which takes that may not have been so good. Uh, it also helps me stay on top of making sure that the singer is singing the right lyric, the right words, things like that. So it gives me a good overview of making sure that we have everything that we need. Uh, if I have a certain amount of really good lines for one and I'm just missing one, we can just punch in that line and the singer doesn't have to redo the whole verse, that kind of a thing. So it's a really effective way of keeping track of your vocal session and making sure they have everything that you need. It also is really, really helpful when it comes to comping the vocals. Uh, sometimes vocal, we can have like a lot of vocal takes and it can get really confusing. Oh, did I like vocal five or was it four? This will give you a good roadmap to that. So when it comes time to comping, your job's a heck of a lot easier. Okay, so make a spreadsheet, put in the take numbers, bring it with you to the studio and I'll help your vocal session along tremendously. This is a tip I learned from a guy called Adam Mosley, a super talented guy so thank you adam for showing me this and thank you for watching and listening and hopefully it'll help you in your next vocal tracking session have an awesome day